guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 8 homework. So let's get started. Number one, estimate the product first. Solve by using the standard algorithm. Use your estimate to check the reasonableness, the reasonableness of the product. Alright, so what it's asking for here is for us to first make a reasonable estimate of our of what our product would be. And then after we actually do the real math, we can compare our estimate to the product to see how reason reasonable it is and tell if our product is like reasonable or not. So A, 312 times 149. So if we round 300 to the nearest 100, 312 to the nearest 100, that's 300. And 149 to the nearest 100 is 100. 300 times 100 is 30,000, so that would be our estimate. Now let's do the actual math. 2 times 9 is 18. 1 times 9 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Now add a 0, because we're moving on to the 10th place. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. Now zero zero because we're in the hundreds place. One times two is two. One times one is one, and one times three is three. Add it all together. Eight eight. That's six plus eight is fourteen. Two four. Five six. That's four. So our answer is forty six thousand four hundred eighty eight. So our answer is reasonable. Let's circle that. It's pretty close to 30,000, like it's at least in the same place value, so it's pretty close. So our answer would be pretty reasonable. Um, Alright, now B, 743 times 229. 743 is rounded to 700 times um, 300, and that would be... Hmm, and we write the round symbol. 7 times 3 is 21. And if we count the zeros, 210,000. So now let's do the actual math. 743 times 295. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21. And 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2 is 37. Now add a 0. 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36, plus 2 is 38, and 9 times 7 is 63, plus 3 is 68, oh, no, 63 plus 3 is 66. Now, 0, 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 7 is 14. So now let's add, it's 21. 2 plus 6 is 9, plus 8 is 17, plus 2 is 19, and that is 11. So our answer is 219,185, and our answer is pretty reasonable because it's pretty close to 210,000. Alright, now let's look at C. 428 around to the nearest 10, that's 400, times 637 would be 600. And that would be 4 times 6 is 24. And now let's add the zeros. So 240,000 is our estimate. Now let's do the actual math. 8 times 7 is 56. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 5 is 19. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 1 is 29. 0, 8 times 3 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and 3 times 4 is 12. Now 0, 0, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16, and 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Let's add 36, 12, 17, 272,636. So our answer is reasonable. All right, and D, 691 times 305. Let's estimate. That'd be 700 times 300 
7 times 3 is 21 and add the zeros then so 210,000 would be our estimate now let's multiply 1 times 5 is 5 4 times 9 times 5 is 45 6 times 5 is 30 plus two, 4 is 34 all right add a zero um this part actually would be all zeros so we don't really have to do that part but i'll just write it to show it out that's how the zero would look like next part would be zero zero three times one is three three times nine is twenty seven and three times six is eighteen plus two is uh twenty so let's add So 210,755, so our answer is pretty reasonable because it's pretty close to our estimate. All right, E, 4,208, we're round to 4,000 times 600, because 606 equals 4 times 6 is 24, and now add the zeros. That's 2,400,000. So now let's do our actual math. All right, let's look at the 6. 8 times 6 is 48. 0 times 6 is 0 plus 4 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. And 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. 0. This whole part would be 0. Now 0, 0. 6 times 8 again. That's 48. 6 times 0 plus 4. 6 times 2 is 12. And then 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Now let's add. Two million five hundred fifty thousand forty-eight. So I'm, I'd say our answer is reasonable because it's two million in the two million range, kind of like our estimate. So yeah. All right. Let's look at F now. Three thousand sixty-eight times five hundred twenty-three. Our estimate will be 3,000 times 500. And that's 15 and add the zeros. 1,500,000. Now let's actually multiply. Okay, let's look at 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. 0 times 3 is 0 plus 2 is 2. And 3 times 2 is 9. Right, 0, 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. And 2 times 3 is 6. Now 0, 0. 5 times 8 is 40. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 4 is 34. 0 times 5 is 0 plus 3. Um, wait, that's 3. And then... 3 times 5 is 15. So now let's add. That's 4, 6. 1,604,564. So I say our answer is reasonable because it's pretty close to our estimate. So yeah, it's reasonable. Alright, G, 430. So I round up 400 times 3,064, that's 3,000. 4 times 3 is 12, and now add the zeros. Our estimate is 1,200,000. Now let's actually do the math. Oh, we can write it the other way. So I have a zero here. Everything here would just be zero. Now, our actual zero. Three times four is 12. Three times six is 18, plus one is 19. Three times zero is zero, plus one is one. And three times three is nine. Now, zero, zero. Four times four is 16. Four times six is 24, plus one is 25. Four times zero, zero plus two is two. And three times four is 12. So now let's add. 
9 plus 6 is 15. Oh, and 7. 1 million 317,520. So our answer is pretty reasonable. All right, now H, 3,007, that's 3,000, times 500. 3 times 5 is 15, and add the zeros. Our estimate is 1 million 500,000. Now let's multiply. Let's look at the 2. 7 times 2 is 14. 0 times 2 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 times 2 is 0, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now 0, 7 times 0, this whole row would be 0. And now 0, 0, 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 5 times 0 is 0, and 5 times 3 is 15. Let's add... 1,509,514. So our answer is reasonable. I, 254 would round up to 300 since it just passed the 250 mark times 6,000. 3 times 6 is 18 and add the zeros. 1,800,000 is our estimate. Oh, let's write it on top more. Times 254. Let's look at the 4 first. 4 times 4 is 16. 0 times 4 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And 6 times 4 is 24. Add a 0. That's 20, 2, 5, and 30. Now, I'm zero, zero. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 6 is 12. So let's add. 14. 1,550,416. So our answer, I, I think, I guess it's reasonable. Next page. Number 2. When multiplying 1,729 times 308, Clayton got a product of 53,253. Without calculating, does this product seem reasonable? Explain your thinking. So let's round. This would go to 2,000 times 300, which is 6, and add the zeros, 600,000. Now, Clayton got 53,253, so our, that product is not at all, at all reasonable since it's literally a completely different place value and it's way off. So now, it's not reasonable because the place value is off. So the place value is like really off, so it's not reasonable. And A, a publisher prints 1,912 copies of a book in each print run. They print 305 runs. The manager wants to know how many books will be printed. What is a reasonable estimate? 1,912 times 305. That would round to 2,000 times 300. And that will give us 600,000. So we can write 600,000 is a reasonable estimate. So yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time, bye.